My name is Sean Wilden and I'm a teacher and teacher trainer. Um, I'm now based in Oxford, but I've worked uh, in many places in Europe and I've been a teacher and trainer for too many years to, to mention really now these days. Um, well, uh, it's always interesting what technology is. I think technology goes, I mean, from the simplest point of view, it's using the CD player or the MP3 player. Um, and these days with MP3 players, um, I think we, we've got a lot more options with what we do with technology in the classroom. But on the, uh, from one end, there's that. Um, and I'm a great fan of bringing in the, my laptop, putting it into a data projector, using it on an, on an ordinary board, um, bringing in things like YouTube, um, and using those along with uh, published materials uh, on the board. I think is the, the good thing about technology is it brings a great variety to what you can do in the classroom or adds to the variety of what you can do. A couple of th reasons stand out for me. I think um, one, of the, one of the things that's important for me is if I'm using technology that's sort of uh, internet based, it's things that are going to be there and not be a fad uh, and not, not be there for 10 minutes and then go away. I think at the moment where teachers are looking quite a lot at what's, what's, uh, what to use in the classroom, there's so many things that you, it could be overwhelming. And what I want is for my students to be able to go away and use them as well. Um, so simplicity, the fact that it will last a long time, which is why something such as YouTube is quite a nice, I'm um, using that as a basic tool because it's always there uh, with, and it won't disappear, the website won't disappear. And I'm also, for me, in the, I think technology does something that we haven't been able to achieve in teaching for a long time, which is giving the students the chance to study on their own. So it has to be, for me, things that the students can take out the classroom and use at home as well. But then there are practical considerations. Is it worth it? Um, sometimes technology gets in the way and then you're sort of like, what's that, what actually is the linguistic purpose of this? Um, is it safe if you're teaching um, teenagers or young children? I think, is it actually e-safe? Am I exposing the children to things they shouldn't be using or seeing? Um, and ease of use. There are so many things going on in a teacher's life and in my life when I'm trying to teach, plan a lesson, it's got to be easy to use. Um, so fundamental things like is it, how easy is it, is it long standing, um, can the students get something out of this and am I using it for a real purpose other than its technology. Without sounding uh, facetious, I think the role of a teacher is always changing, whether that would be technology or not. Um, Teaching, it, I, mean, I think one of the reasons I've been a teacher and most people staying teaching is because it's a job that evolves every year, there's something new. And it so happens now that one of the evolutions of teaching is, is technology. Um, so even if I went back 10 years, if we go back 10 years ago, we'd still be the video coming into the classroom, looking how to use the video, looking how to use a red projector. I think my role as a teacher perhaps has changed in what I'm teaching to my students. And something that I'm very interested in is how I don't think anymore that our role as a teacher is limited to the four walls of a classroom. Uh, and that, you know, I think I used to, um, one practical example would be giving the homework. Uh, I tend to work in a private language school, so I see my students once or twice a week, give them homework. A week later, I'd get the homework. But now technology means that homework comes to me at different times, and it's changed my role in that way. And I think, certainly when I'm teaching adults, I'm very much, I feel much more that we're cooperating and, um, collaborating in work rather than necessarily being the teacher and the students. And I think that's something that, that's changed over the last 10 years. But I don't think that's necessarily technology as a whole. I think the role of a teacher has always changed as materials differ and as the demands of English change. I think where for me, uh, and hopefully for my students, uh, it's changed is the fact that uh, for once we can really talk about self-study and autonomy. Um, I remember when I first trained to be a teacher 20 or so years ago now, um, this was always the dream to make the self-study the autonomous student. And I believe that this is where technology has really altered that. Um, you know, I've got many examples where having introduced the class to something uh, online, they'll go home, they'll find me the links, they'll send stuff, they'll share things together. Uh, so I think the fact that now that students um, can study, really study on their own makes a difference. The fact that um, 
you know, I used to, I always joke with uh, when I'm training teachers about vocabulary notebooks on pieces of paper that the students forget. Well, now they can keep them on their phone, vocabulary on their phones, they can keep them on their laptops. Um, so there's really no excuse almost for people not doing the homework. And the fact that, um, you know, you can podcast things so the students can put it on their MP3 player and, and learn and, as they're on the go. And I think it's sort of the, the, this, this um, dynam the dynam the dynamic, this variety, I'll change it, of, um, that is now coming to the classroom um, and outside of the classroom for me is the, is the most, is the wondrous thing because my students are really engaging in real English uh, and in English for life. I think the risks of not using, I, I think risk is a very strong word, but um, I think uh, we have to consider that technology is part of life. Um, and there are many teachers that, I, I do lots of training sessions with teachers, and there are many teachers that say to me, you don't use, uh, I don't use technology. I don't know what, te I'm afraid of technology. And you sort of say, well, do you send an SMS? Do you, do you email? Have you been on Google? Yes, is generally the answer. So I say, well, you know, so why, you do use technology. It's not, you know, we're not saying it's something different. It's just bringing that into life. I think risk is a strong word because I think what teaching has always got to fit the environment and the value. And sometimes perhaps technology isn't suitable for that particular class or type. So I don't think we should necessarily be saying use technology or else. However, technology is very much a part of everyday life. It's a natural thing that students do. It's a natural thing that teachers do. And I think that the demands of the classroom and the demands of teaching are bringing those things together. And first of all, our job is to meet the needs of our students, whoever they are, whether they're teenagers or adults. Um, and most of those people need to engage in technology in some way, and they'll need to do it in English. And I think that's the biggest risk, that we'll be seen as old-fashioned or not keeping up with what people need if we don't bring them in. Um, but I'm certainly, with that, I'm, saying, I'm not saying that we should always use technology. It should be balanced, like any tool we use in the classroom. It's using it for the right purpose uh, and just knowing what that purpose is.